Harry. <laughs> Your eyes were the first thing I noticed about you. Nothing else mattered. <laughs> and it felt as if no one else was there. I finally felt alive. I knew in my core, I just met my husband. Despite the fact that that felt pretty premature since um, we were pretty young, <laughs> I couldn't shake that feeling. And from that day on, it seemed like gravity worked differently. It's about three o'clock. Uh, we just finished taking our pictures with the bridal party and the new bride. And now we're headed back to the venue. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to this day of celebration as friends and family gather to witness the union of Harrison and Amara as husband and wife. So something y'all should know about my sister, and you probably already know it, is that she knows what she likes and what she wants. When she was six, she woke up one day and told my dad that she would be learning to ride a bike without training wheels today. And she did. She learned to use a knife, like a real knife, to chop vegetables before she could read. And she started permanently changing my dessert recipes when she was four. Namara is and has always been very decisive and very sure of herself, even as a young sprout. Fast forward many years to Amara's first few weeks at University of Houston. On one of our phone calls, after the first day or two of rehearsals, I was asking if she'd made any friends, and one character in particular caught my attention. It went something like this. Oh, and I met this guy named Harry. He seems cool. It was funny because I met him, and then I forgot his name, and when I saw him later, I was trying to remember it, and he goes, what are my legs? And I was like, um... Tan? And he goes, no, Harry. <laughs> we had a little chuckle about her funny new friend, Harry. And although we were only talking on the phone, I could hear the smile in Amar's voice as she spoke about him. It was early days, but right then and there, I had a feeling I'd be hearing a lot more about Mr. Harrison. So the first few weeks at UH, we kept hearing one name, Harry. Harry plays tuba. Harry was also a drum major. And I told Anissa and Moen, there is a person, his name is Harry, and it is so gonna be this one time at band camp. Amara. Since the day we met in the dorms at Cougar Village 2 in 2017, I've known and I've been waiting for this day to come. Growing with you and experiencing this life that we've built together has been greater than I ever could have dreamed of. Four short months after our first date, I was so sure 
that I decided to write into my journal on January 16th, 2018. I can actually imagine a life with him. Living with him, growing up with him, and even marrying him. I'm elated, thrilled, and honored, excited to see that become a reality today. During freshman year, Harry came home with Amara over winter break. We were a bit anxious, given he was coming from so far away. But we started softening when he confessed to pre-reading the instructions for one of our favorite card games. He also cracked the first of his many dad jokes. When he came in, he asked what we were having for dinner, and I said, we're having dal, which is lentil curry. And he said, I bet it will be delicious. <laughs> that was a good one, Harry. <laughs> Another trait of Harry's that I really appreciate is that he never shies away from trying new things. And this has taken him on several new adventures over the years. For one, the guy has really upped his cooking game. He and Amara have mastered everything from lava cakes to chai to rajma homemade bagels, and everything in between. I vow to create with you a home of comfort, of creativity, of positivity, yummy food, and cats. <laughs> and I'm gonna care for you and the cats to the best of my ability. I vow to nurture our connection, keeping your little heart in my hand, always taking care of it. I promise to keep the romance alive and I'll make a conscious effort to spend our time together intentionally to make sure that the intensity of our bond is always getting stronger. I vow to gently hold your heart in the palm of my hand and to always be the best version of myself and encourage you to do the same. I vow to live a life of adventure with you, whether we're in a five-star hotel or in a tent under a sprinkler. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I vow to pursue life to its fullest with you, and we're gonna see the world together. With these vows in mind, as we embark on a new journey, there's so much to look forward to, but most of all, I can't wait to be your wife and get the privilege of enjoying life with you for the rest of my life. I look forward to sipping chai with you, reading books with you, and snuggling the cats on a rainy day as your husband now. I vow to be faithful and true to my one and only Amara. I love you. Harry, you may now kiss your breath. Gentlemen, friends and family, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Shakespeare. Please join me for a toast to knowing what you like and what you want to being more than just friends, and to Mr. and Mrs. Shake Lewis. We wish you both the willingness to be truly astonished by yourselves, by each other, and by all that is around you. Looking forward to a lifetime of watching these two beautiful goobers light up every room they go into with their silly shenanigans and adventurous spirits. These are our favorite newlyweds, Harry and Amara. As you hold on to one another, you will find deeper levels of joy, happiness, and peace. Your marriage is the foundation upon which you will build the rest of your lives, and despite any adversity, will always be there to sustain you.